Okay, so this is part three, and uh, we're going to see how we can bend this into this uh, brush, brushy uh, leaflet that you see here. Uh, so we're going to use a lattice uh, to deform this into that, uh, but uh, we need to first join this into a single mesh for that to work correctly. So let just select everything and uh, hold on control J to join them into a single mesh like this. Uh, let's go in and see and make sure that uh, okay so we are having some issues with uh, uh with with the materials uh, so let's first undo this mm. i think we need uh, to bake down uh, the material into a color into a single color uh color map uh, so that we don't run into that issue uh, that that just happened so let's select this here <coughs> make sure that uh, we have good uvs and uh, this is not outside uh, the object and uh, outside our texture space and uh, go to shading uh, we need to add a new texture image texture i'll call this uh, color doesn't need to have any alpha so have that selected and also have the object selected uh, go to UV editing I uh, can change this back to, to material and uh, so currently if it does not uh, bake materials so we can we have to use cycles uh, for that and uh, yes so what we're going to be baking is uh, the diffuse or the color of the texture. So a combined version of all these nodes uh, that are going into the base color. And uh, for some reason, Cycles doesn't bake uh, the principal shader base color. So for that, we need to use uh, the, sh the diffuse shader. So I'll just connect this directly into the diffuse. And uh, what we're going to bake is this color that you see. So then go to cycles, material, sorry, render settings here. And then under bake, we need to, we need to change the bake type to diffuse. <coughs> and uh, we can go now to use editing, uh, select uh, the color map here. Also make sure that uh, in the shading, you have uh, that as the text, as the selected node. Uh, so let's go back to here. Uh, this is, I'm just opening, I'm just working in the UV editing so that we can preview uh, the final bake and uh, so in the diffuse settings in the bake settings uh, we only want the color so we don't need the, the indirect lighting or the direct lighting uh, so after that we can hit back and uh, we should be good to go so just give it a moment a few seconds and uh, the color should be baked into an image and then from there we can bake the roughness and then the normal map so you can see uh, this is our uh, bake so we can save this save us uh, color uh, you know what what I'm going to do is uh, instead of just baking because you can see we, we have a lot of wasted texture space here <coughs> so I'm going to go in here select this as well select these two go to edit mode UV editing and then select uh, this mesh maybe you can unwrap again then select this here uh, make sure that uh, it's on a different in a different area than this so I think I can also separate these two so that they are not too thin so if I select uh, this part here control E maxim then unwrap again Okay, it's not bad. Can scale this down and scale this up so that it's not too thin. Make sure uh, the UVs are not overlapping and that there is some distance between uh, the different UVs so so that we have uh, that margin there. So. Then after you can select the two, maybe join them. Let's join them into one mesh. Let me see, is that, 
Okay, that will still mess up our UVs. So we can select the two. I don't know if I can bake uh, two objects at once into the same color map. So let's see. So if we hit bake right now, and see if it doesn't work out, we can just join the two uh, in Photoshop, the two maps in Photoshop. So I think it doesn't. It only bakes uh, the select one one object. So let's. Uh, we have uh, this baked down, so we can also go in go in here, select this, shift D, and uh, create a new material. I'll call it color 2. Bake. And uh, I can, let's see, let's see, color. Bake. Yeah, I need to bake this object now. So make sure you have this selected. If you have this selected, it will overwrite uh, whatever we baked here. So just select this. And uh, maybe to just to be safe, I uh, let me first turn off uh, this material so that I'm sure that I'm only baking this. And uh, go back to render settings. Go to UV. Oh, actually, it worked. So if you have two objects selected, yeah, the color will bake uh, both. Yeah, so we don't have to do the steps we have just done. So let me undo. And uh, so if you have two objects selected, it will bake that uh, the textures onto one map, which is very useful. So let's go back. And uh, instead of calling this color tool, we call this roughness. Roughness uh, for the rough for the roughness. And uh, for that, I think the principal shader does bake the roughness, so we don't have to use the diffuse so uh, we can delete the diffuse for now and uh, go in to the bake type change this from uh, from diffuse to roughness go to UVs uh, make sure you have uh, roughness selected and uh, in the shading also make sure that uh, you have uh, the roughness node selected or the roughness text that we have made are selected so you go on uh, UVs and then hit bake again also make sure that you have the two objects selected then hit back, uh, so you can see it backs both uh, the textures. So we can save that. Also make sure to save uh, the color map. And uh, now let's back uh, the normals. So for the normals, we just also have to change uh, the uh, back type and uh, create another material, another texture my texture I'll call this normal normals hit ok uh, make sure it is the texture that is selected and uh, yes so also make sure that uh, whatever the normals you want to bake are, th are connected to the normal map here so yeah now we can go back to UV editing change this to roughness sorry to normal uh, make sure you have both objects selected and then bake so we should give it a few seconds okay so for some reason it's only baking one material it's not baking the normals for this. Let's oh, okay, still baking. Yeah, it baked both objects. So we again save uh, this this map, and now we can duplicate this leaflet, or we can just use any of these leaflets, or just select this top and then remove this material. And then create a new material. So I'll call this baked mat. I'll call this also leaf. And now we can import uh, the textures we have just baked. So uh, shift A texture, image texture, and then open. So this is what we baked down color, base color. You can see. 
we have uh, the color input in. So if if the resolution is not good enough for you, you just increase it in the image editor. In the for the you just increase it when you are uh, creating the texture. So when you hit new here, you can increase the width and height uh, for for the image. Uh, that will increase uh, the detail you s you back down. Uh, but that that will also increase the back time. Uh, but uh, for something this small, uh, we don't need that much resolution. So let's do this open again for the roughness, and then one more time for the normals. So connect the roughness there. You can see we get that. And now we just need to connect the normal. Let's see that's what we have. Uh, if you want to have control over the normals, because you can see we don't have any control over that, we can just go under vector and then normal map. Then you can control the, r the length, sorry, the, the strength using this here. Let me see how it looked here. I think this is this is okay. We don't need more control. So yeah, that's how you bake materials. Uh, in the next tutorial, we will be looking at how to bend these into uh, the shapes we want. So 